I wanted to figure out which bed cooling system worked better, the Uller or the Doc Pro. So what the heck is a bed cooling system anyway? Basically, it's a device that helps keep your bed cool throughout the night. And why would you want to get a bed cooling system in the first place? Colder temperatures at night serve as an internal trigger for sleepiness. I think we've all experienced trying to find the cool spot in the bed. This eliminates that problem. And there are two main types of bed cooling systems, air-based and water-based. So air-based will be your products like the BetJet, which literally blow air under the covers. And then you have products like the Uller or the Doc Pro that use water and a mattress pad to control the temperature of the bed. I've had the Uller since 2019 and it has helped me sleep so much better, but it's not perfect. And when I found out about the Doc Pro and that it addressed some of the issues with the Uller, I had to try it out. Let's talk about the Uller real quick. Ultimately, the effectiveness of the Uller is determined by the ambient temperature of the room. If it's too hot in the room, the Uller isn't going to be able to keep the bed as cool. And living in Texas, this is a problem in the summer. Now we keep both of our Ullers on the outside of the bed so it's not tucked in, although it can fit. We want to keep the area around the Uller as cool as possible. So when I turn it on, you'll start to feel air being pushed out of the Uller. This is probably specific to us. I don't know of anybody else who's had this issue, but apparently this little plastic contraption that feeds the water into the Uller, it bothers my husband. Specifically, his head when he is resting on the bed. Sometimes I guess he meditates on the bed with no pillow and you know, I'm also just taking my lack of height for granted. It's finally time to replace the Uller and put the new Doc Pro on the bed. I've been sleeping on the Doc Pro for a few months now and I feel like I can finally give a thorough review. For the first few nights, I encountered a major problem. Now I used to set the Uller at 65 degrees and that was a sweet spot. I was told with the Doc Pro to definitely increase the temperature at least a little bit. So I figured, you know, 68, 69 degrees would be perfect. I was totally wrong. This was way too cold for me. I woke up in the middle of the night a handful of times freezing because I said it too cold. <laughs> So I found with the Doc Pro, 71 degrees is my sweet spot. And I think it's kind of amazing that a two degree difference could leave me from feeling very, very comfortable and sleeping soundly to freezing my butt off. But when I first tested out the Doc Pro, it was still early spring and the air was cooler. Now I know they marketed the Doc Pro to not be reliant on ambient temperature, but I wanted to see how this thing would handle the warmer months. Even though we have air conditioning, the air in the house is gonna be warmer in the summer. And now that we have temperatures in the 90s, I feel very comfortable saying yes. The Doc Pro works very, very well regardless of ambient temperature. I would also say that the mattress pad itself is more comfortable. The mattress pad you get with the Uller, it does have the little tubes that run through it and that's fine. Honestly, I never really felt it, it never bothered me, but I feel like the Doc Pro mattress pad, it spreads the temperature more evenly throughout the bed. The user interfaces of both the Uller and the Doc Pro are very easy to use. They're very similar and they both have apps. And both apps do have the capability of allowing you to customize the temperature throughout the night and throughout the week. And while I'm on that, the one issue I have with the Doc Pro that I'm not thrilled about that there is a workaround, don't worry, I figured it out. But there is an option for warm awake. Basically what this does, if you have it turned on, when you wake up, you set a specific time, but the temperature will just increase indefinitely until it can't increase anymore or until you're like, oh my God, I am burning up. You get out of bed and you turn it off. Now I think for some people, especially those who have a really, really hard time getting out of bed in the morning, that's probably a great feature, but for me, I kind of want it to cap out at a certain temperature. But I did find a workaround because you can just add an adjustment for a particular time. So for me, for instance, I'll say at around 5.30, I want the temperature of the bed to increase to about 73, 74. So while I wish you could better customize the warm awake feature, you actually can, so it's really kind of a, a non-issue. 
When you pour water into each of the devices, the Dock Pro just makes things so easy and they fixed what the issue was for the Uller. The Uller has this tiny little hole that you have to pour water into and it's kind of hard to figure out just how much water the thing needs. So you usually end up just like overflowing and kind of making a mess. But with the Dock Pro, they have this nice giant opening that you can pour water into and it's very, very clear how much water you put in. So I have never encountered any sort of issue with overflow. Now this doesn't matter to me at all, but I have found that I have been refilling the Dock Pro more than I had with the Uller. If anybody knows why that might be, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I think it's safe to say that the Dock Pro is hands down the superior product. You can feel the coolest of the mattress pad so much better than you could with the one that comes with the Uller. And the amazing thing is that it stays cool, even if the temperature of the room is warm. The app is still easy to navigate, and the area that you pour the water into is more easily accessible and you just make way less of a mess. I know that there are some other products that are similar to the Uller and the Dock Pro. And while I haven't tried them out myself, the one thing I really like about both of these products is that you don't have to go out and buy a brand new mattress. You can basically just enhance the one that you already have. So if you're not in the market for a new mattress, this is definitely a good way to go. And if you ever get a new mattress in the future, which we probably all will, while yes, there are some options that I think are worth exploring, but you can always just use these devices and plop them on the new mattress. So what do you think about the Dock Pro and cooling mattress pads in general? Let me know in the comments down below and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.